five countries. We have 35 tax treaties with, with countries in countries across the world. And so when you look at the market, uh, you look at Middle East, uh, you look at the US and Europe, uh, if, if we were given choice between uh, Labuan, uh, between Cyprus, and other offshore countries, um, we, we tend to think what, what are the countries around that offshore market we want to serve. So we believe in Africa and India as the market that will grow exponentially in the next 10 to 20 years. Uh, so that's the reason why we choose Mauritius because we believe that Mauritius will become a financial hub, be it Islamic or non-Islamic. But we will strive to make it an Islamic hub. Uh, so that is the target market that we're going to. We're going to, to do equity, debt, capital markets, fund management, treasury and wealth management. We classify this under wholesale banking. So our products will be Sukuk, fund management, uh, fixed income trading, and everything under treasury market. So people ask me, uh, what, kind of, what kind of markets do you have in mind in Mauritius? Um, my natural answer would be corporates and high net worth individuals because we are looking at very large volume transactions. So can I get that kind of assets in Mauritius? I think I can. But will it be uh, of a large uh, capacity? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I might have 20% of my total um, deals that I want to do in the next two or three years coming from Mauritius, but it's good enough for the current operation that we're running. One, one has to uh, consolidate their expectations when they come to Mauritius in a small market like this. Do it do it small and meet your expectation rather than coming in big and you see there's no market in, in your local in a local presence so we're going to do uh, we're going to try to get assets from the local market securitize it okay uh, try our best to denominate it to the lowest level of denomination possible so that it can reach the retail market um, we're not going to go into retail market per se, by offering, for example, Islamic deposits or Islamic fixed income, uh, Islamic fixed deposit, but we can do a fund management, we can securitize this building and denominate it to a 10,000 rupee per, per, per paper or per unit, and uh, it is reachable by all the Muslims over here, or non-Muslim for that matter. Why would non-Muslim put in money in Islamic products if the rate is at par or better than, than the conventional. Why would they put money if it's at, 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 at par with the conventional? Because you've got an asset backing you behind you. You've got a building. If anything happens to the uh, transaction, you've got a building that you can sell. That is the proposition that we're bringing to Mauritius. Uh, in the next two or three years, once the assets, most of the Mauritius assets have been uh, securitized, the ones that are there are, that can be properly securitized, uh, then we will be all out going out to the African and Indian market to bring in business to Mauritius uh, in terms of making it a financial hub, preferred is a financial hub. Um, they will come here. Why would they come here? Because of double tax treaty. Why would Middle Easterns put in money over here when uh, they, are, they are taxed zero percent over there? That's a very good question I heard, I, I got from a lot of people. Um, then my answer to that would be, they got surplus of money. So between Mauritius and bring it to Europe, they will come to Mauritius because the tax over here is, is 5%. If you go to Europe, it's more than that. So that is the proposition that we are seeing uh, in the country and hopefully we can bring that forward later on in the future. Thank you. Before I move on to Mr. Sajid, the CEO of Happy Bank, I just want to share with the crowd that um, that if you look at the total deposit from customers for the uh, for the whole banking system, it's approximately 698 million. Now, if you minus the foreign exchange, you have uh, you are only left with 392 billion. Now, if you look at 1% of this figure, it's approximately 350, 375 million. Now, one could anticipate that uh, you would receive 100, 375 million 
for your first year if you're operating on the retail banking. Now, this to me is an opportunity. Now, let me hear now from Sajid first what um, his views on uh, the Islamic banking. Thank you, Munir. Um, definitely agree with, with the other speakers that if a bank is looking for exponential growth, then global business is where you need to be. Um, now, coming down to retail business, um, as at the time we're speaking, I have a paper submitted to my board to have retail business in, in Islamic banking for, for the bank. So this is being pursued as an indication that there's potential which we see in the market here. Having said that, um, of course, market is very small, 200,000 Muslims. More so the edu education and the real need for having an Islamic banking was not yet felt uh, in so far. I think uh, conferences like this and um, uh, initiatives being taken by Bank of Mauritius to, to set in the framework uh, does now bring an, uh, an interest into interest as being enthusiasm, not interest as riba, uh, into, into uh, retail banking. So we can feel now um, in, in HBL that there's a need from, from Muslims asking for, for Islamic banking. Insofar, th there were demands, there were um, requests, but not as urgent as we are feeling it right now. That, that has been played by more, I think, uh, with maturing of a, of a business community in Mauritius. Insofar, even if you look at conventional banking, uh, the banking system is offering pretty vanilla kind of product on derivative side, even on, 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 on uh, asset side. We are for offering pretty vanilla kind of products, which indicates that the market is not very mature uh, as such as a, as a financial center. But progress is being made, and progress is being made very quickly. Uh, so in, in a nutshell, I would say that uh, retail banking prospect uh, uh, in Islamic finance I is there. Uh, the one who moves first will have the first move advantage. And the way I see it, in, in 10 years' time, other conventional <coughs> banks would need to have a window somewhere just to tap in, or not to lose that Islamic and Muslim community from, from their books. So um, I, I believe along the way um, you would have a bank such as, as uh, HBL who would come forward with a product or any, any other bank and then the rest would, would see the, the requirement, the need would be felt and then other banks would follow suit along the way. Thank you, Sajid. Uh, definitely, um, I, I, I do uh, agree with our speakers at the same time. Um, in my personal view, I still felt that we need to have a retail bank. Uh, to me, uh, if you're offering investment bank, at the same time you're offering a retail bank, the investment bank could complement the retail side of the business. Now, an example was clearly given by uh, our friend here, Johari, where he could securitize this building and offer so cook, right? But uh, when you look at the demand on the market, people are looking for current account, not current account, people are looking for saving accounts or deposit accounts, right? Now our next speaker is Mrs. Hajra from HSBC. Now I have two specific questions to Hajra. One is, uh, tell us why HSBC uh, initially decided to offer its services only to the global business, number one. And if you can share with us, um, at the moment you are only adopting the Murabaha commodity. Or very briefly tell us what is the Murabaha commodity and why only for global business. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Munir. Um, first of all, I mean, um, just to let you know, I mean, as Munir mentioned, we are offering it mainly for the global business corporates. Basically, the key considerations when we launched uh, Islamic banking in Mauritius was based on the fact that HSBC being quite strong on the international business, being like um, our strategy was mainly to, to be the world's I mean, largest bank in Mauritius, the world's local bank, 